Today I want to talk about prison art. Art made by inmates. Now there's good art and there's some bad art. We're going to talk about both. I'm going to talk about the good first. Now, what I mean by good art is nice art that is actually beautiful and inmates that have great talent are making beautiful paintings and there are places out there across the United States where the inmates have donated the artwork for special charities. The charity will get so much of the money and the inmate will get some money. So it's helping in two ways, okay? The inmate is expressing themselves through their art and making good, decent art, you know, outdoors art photos of, of famous people, photos, or, or excuse me, paintings of famous people, paintings of uh, people who have done great things, uh, wilderness photos, pictures of inner city, uh, all kinds of nice photos. And these are great because if someone gets a nice piece of art from a talented artist, and a charity gets money out of it. Now, also in the prisons, especially here in Florida that I know for sure, a lot of murals are drawn by uh, inmates. Great talent. Why can't this talent be channeled on the outside to do great things and stay out of prison? Okay, that's what we want you to do. Stay out of prison. Channel your art and your, your uh, artist professionalism in many of these inmates is just unbelievable. And some of the artwork from inmates is sold for a lot of money. Now, some prisons do not allow the inmates to sell their artwork. So, a family member gets to take the artwork home in many cases, and then they can sell the art at an art show or through a charity or whatever they wish, and then they can send the inmate money if they wish. But, a lot of murals are drawn by inmates in the prison within the prison walls. Visitation, for example. Just about every Florida prison I've been to has a wall with a beautiful scenery of alligators and the cypress trees and the cypress swamps or up in North Florida, the deer and the bear. And, you know, it's just beautiful artwork. And uh, it actually makes the atmosphere a little bit better for staff and inmates. Come on. Isn't a nice mural of art in a prison or a jail uh, something better to look at than just the plain old doll walls? You know, and it gives the inmates something to do, keeps their mind busy, keeps their imagination going, and it, and, and it, it ends up to do a good thing for everybody. Now, there's bad art also. What I mean by bad art, the artwork's not bad. The artwork is just as amazing as the great art that I talked about earlier. But the bad art comes in the form of gang art. Tattoos, some of the tattoos are really decent, really good, the, the, the artwork for a tattoo. I mean, there's a lot of folks out here in the free world that, that would get that tattooed on their body because it's decent tattoo artwork, but some of the artwork now turns into the gang side. A lot of it's pornography. I'm going to tell you what, uh, in this video I'm showing uh, artwork as we go. A lot of it is um, pornography. Um, you know, there's more males in prison than female, and in the male prisons, what are they thinking about and, and what are they drawing? A lot of nudity, a lot of uh, women, um, you know, uh, nude and, and the artwork. Now, the artwork is great. I'm not going to knock any of the artwork. It's darn good artwork. So that is something that it's not the end of the world that uh, we have some uh, nudity in the artwork, but we just don't want it to get out uh, to, and, and let the children see it, of course. But we also have gang art, gang symbols. We have art that has drug needles, drug use, wads of money, helicopters flying over the city searching for the drug dealer. 
I don't know, you know, some people will say, well, that's just an outlet. The inmate is drawing uh, a photo or doing artwork of their past life. And maybe it could be channeled into saying, this is the life you do not want. And in some of these gang arts, though, however, there's gang symbols, there's hidden coded messages inside the artwork, things that we need to look for. Now, as correctional officers, we have to monitor artwork. And so those of you who are saying, why do you have to monitor artwork? It's just art. Well, folks, when you're providing security for a prison and you want the safety and security of a prison, artwork is fine. As long as it's allowed and the, and the prison allows it and, and whatever they use to do the artwork is allowed, no problem. But when you start using artwork for gang symbols and decoded messages, or you have your family pick up artwork and the artwork is gang artwork, but it's actually got decoded messages in it, we have to be very careful. So when you're on um, patrol officers, and you're doing your random searches, and you're doing your random cell searches, watch this artwork. If you see any of the artwork that appears to depict gang affiliation, uh, gang members sending coded messages, anything at all, even if you're not sure, but your mind is telling you, hey, I don't think this artwork is actually, is actually good, good for the safety and security of this institution, uh, all you have to do is confiscate it and have your gang coordinator, uh, your security threat group coordinator, whoever you have there at the prison who has been to gang school, has gang uh, knowledge of gang issues, have them check it out. Make sure there's no uh, decoded messages in there for gang membership and so forth. And if, the, if, it's, if it's all clear, give it back to the inmate. If it's not, you know, now we're going to write reports. And we're going to uh, make sure that we document all this information. Don't just, you know, discard the art and not document. We want to document in the inmates file what we confiscated from them, what type of decoded gang messages are hidden within the art, what is wrong with the art, what, what do we see as a security threat in this artwork, okay? And... This is perfectly legal, folks. We want the inmates to do art. We want the inmates to keep their mind busy. We want them to use their talents. But I'm telling you, we don't want them to use their talents for the wrong thing. And if they're using this artwork for any type of secret messages to other gang members in the prison, to gang members on the street, or anything of that manner, or placing hits on people... It's happened, and if anybody thinks it hasn't happened, just do some research on it. Let me tell you, gangs are doing uh, decoded messages in their letters back and forth to their families. We have to watch for that, and it's the same thing with art. It's in there sometimes, folks. We have to be thinking outside the box, and if you see artwork being done by an inmate with any questionable issues involved within the artwork, confiscate it, do a report, let it get checked out. It can always go back to the inmate if administration deems that it's clear or your uh, security uh, threat group officer deems that the artwork is clear and, and not any threat to security. But see, there's things that we do every day that re rely upon us as officers to think outside the box. Artwork is great. As I said at the beginning, we're not downing the artwork for inmates. I want them to do artwork. Some of the artwork is very good. And I love that some of the artwork is going to charities and money's going to charities from the prison artwork. I love that. But listen, don't let our guard down. It's not all good. Every now and then, we have some artwork that means something else that is detrimental to our security. Now, I know there's people that are not correctional officers or prison staff, and they're going to say, no, you're wrong. Why would you pick on inmates doing art? Nobody's picking on anybody. 
We as correction officers are trained to look for anything that can, that can be a security threat. And if you have any knowledge at all of what gang members do to send messages out, to place hits on people, to help escape plots, or to plan a riot, there can be hidden messages within the artwork. And I'm telling you, the artwork is just unbelievable. Again, as I said earlier, I wish they would channel this artwork and their their knowledge and and uh, artwork into something good and on the outside, and use that uh, gift of being able to paint and draw and make some money on the outside and not come back to prison. Okay. Just a little thing I wanted to throw out there. I probably took a little too long, but I just want everybody to know uh, and be aware of inmate artwork. It can be very good. It can be a very good thing. And it can also be used the wrong way. Keep an eye out, folks. Thank you very much, Gary, your True Prison Stories.